we do have to address this situation with the driving and in Jamaica and a whole lot of accidents. And a lot of these driving is involved with is either them tired, them don't get enough sleep, or them alcohol level is above the limit for them to drive. Say for instance, the legal limit in the United States and in almost every state is a 0 0.08 blood alcohol concentration, which means if your blood alcohol is 0 0.0 or higher, you are considered legally impaired in the US. If you are pulled over and provide a blood sample that is 0 0.08 or higher, you will be arrested for driving under the influence. In a Jamaica now, the practice in Jamaica is to test for, and, and I'm going to stress this, for excessive alcohol, meaning people could be considered intoxicated if they have 35 micrograms of alcohol per 1,000 millimeters of breath. And I don't know how you would compare this, but this sounds a lot higher. People drink and drive and they meet in an accident that they're not even tested for them alcohol level they meet in an accident then that arrested in us them lock you up for the least bit of alcohol that you have in your system if them catch you so we are talking about accidents and there's a, was an accident last night again and it happened during the week and on weekends it's even worse in Jamaica. So guys, just listen to the news now about the latest accident. Hi guys, welcome to What's What Jamaica News TV. If this is your first time here, please make sure that you subscribe. If it's not your first time here and you have not yet subscribed, please do so right now. And now for the news. Identified. Two persons are now dead, and at least nine others seriously injured after a bus transporting hotel workers ran into a parked truck along the Braco Main Road in Rio Bueno, Trelawney, on Saturday morning. The police say the identities of both male victims are being withheld until they have been positively identified. It is reported that about 4.20 a.m., the driver of the bus was transporting hotel workers from St. End to Falmouth. On reaching a section of the Braco Main Road, the driver lost control of the vehicle and collided with a parked cold storage truck. The impact resulted in the driver and several passengers sustaining injuries and being rushed to the Falmouth Hospital, where two male passengers were pronounced dead. The police have now released the names of the two people who were killed Saturday morning when a bus transporting hotel workers ran into a parked truck along the Braco Main Road in Rio Bueno, Trelawney. They are 28-year-old fabric attendant, Reese Anderson, of Lilyfield in Bamboo, St. Anne, and 32-year-old housekeeping coordinator, Mikal Thompson, of Breadnut Hill in Ocho Rios, St. Anne. Sober warning from top traffic cop. With road fatalities climbing each week, the senior cop who heads the Constabulary's Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch, PSTB, is reminding Jamaicans about the dangers of driving after consuming alcohol. When one consumes alcohol, immediately it has an effect. For some people it may have a very big effect, for some it is small, but your judgment is impaired, your eyesight may be impaired, Assistant Commissioner of Police Gary McKenzie said during a panel discussion at Red Stripe's Responsible Alcohol Consumption and Road Safety Town Hall held at its headquarters on Spanish Town Road on Wednesday. This sobering advice is not to prevent people from drinking and enjoying themselves during the festive season. The fact is, we want you to do so responsibly, and we really do not want any crash and fatalities as a result of that, declared Mackenzie. At the time he spoke, the island has recorded 392 road deaths from 340 fatal crashes since the start of the year. Since then, nine more people died in road crashes, bringing the total fatalities to 401 from 348 crashes up to Friday, November 11th. 2022 when the Ministry of Transport's Road Safety Unit issued its daily report. Blood alcohol content over zero increases the risk of crashes and fatalities significantly. 
Reckless driving, including speeding and neglecting to use protective devices such as seat belts and helmets also tends to increase with alcohol consumption. McKenzie noted that the police can request that motorists do a breath test if they are involved in a crash or suspected to be under the influence of alcohol. He told the observer that the practice in Jamaica is to test for excessive alcohol, meaning people would be considered intoxicated if they have 35 micrograms of alcohol per 100 milliliters of breath. He noted, however, that what is considered too much alcohol for one person may not be so for another. It is important to do the sobriety test because someone may not exceed 35 but is not in a position to drive. Some people, if they just spell R-U-M, they might be drunk and there are some persons who can consume a number of cases, he said. What is too much, based on research, is theta euro for example, that amount of alcohol can equate to about three or so beers, but what happens is that different persons excrete alcohol at different pace, because 95% of alcohol is excreted through metabolism, so the rest of it is through urine, perspiration, and so on. Mackenzie further explained before accepting 50 breathalyzers valued at more than $3 million, which were donated to PSTEB by Desnos and Getty's Foundation, the charitable arm of Red Stripe. Mackenzie welcomed the instruments which, he said, will improve the unit's capacity to conduct more tests. He noted that 12,000-plus breathalyzer tests have been done since the start of this year. Red Stripe also announced that it has engaged in a partnership with three drive share companies for the festive season. Under the agreement, Red Stripe, part of the Heineken company, will offer one year of rideshare services through VOI, Traveler Taxi, and Quick Rides. Red Stripe will promote the rideshare companies as Get Home Responsibly partners on its social media platforms and traditional media channels. The brewery will also offer Guys, all the calls that we, we're making for better, for, for, for the crimes that are happening in Jamaica and the crimes that are on the forefront, but the accidents is a problem also. You know, accident is accident. Accident is not de deliberate and it's not criminals cause accident. Call it sudden because the crime is even worse than the accidents. But the accident has to be addressed also. Police need to stop these people when they see them on the road. Don't just look upon them and because them they must stagger and them they are they're acting stupid. You would think them drunk. A lot of people out there who can consume the alcohol. And when you see them, unless you test them, you don't know so them drunk. Just remember to subscribe to the my channel like share and hit the notification bell so you will be notified of all new videos